Section 3 of Chapter 18 deals with metric conversions. I told you back on the video for Lesson 1 that by the time I was done with Section 3, you were going to ask the question, why don't we use this system? It's so much easier. You don't even have to memorize any numbers. What you need to memorize, and again, you have to memorize them this year, but all you need to know are your prefixes. So here I have a conversion chart, and I also, of course, have your cheat sheet conversion chart as well. So what this is showing us is the prefixes are kilo, hecto, deca, basic unit, we'll get back to that in a second, deci, centi, and milli. And just like with our measurement system, when I move to a larger unit of measurement, I would divide. When I move to a smaller unit of measurement, I'll multiply. But in the metric system, I'm always dividing and multiplying by multiples of 10, which means I can really just simply slide a decimal point around. So there's a lot of prefixes you have to know. The first row here are your three basic units. Okay, time is the same in metric and in imperial measurement. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour doesn't change anywhere. We use inches and feet and yards and miles to measure distance. The rest of the world uses meters. And then we attach a prefix depending on what um, multiple of a meter we're using. For dry weight, we use ounces and pounds and tons. In the metric system, they use grams and the various prefixes. And we use fluid ounces and cups and pints and quarts and gallons, which are very confusing. In the metric system, they use liters with all the prefixes. Please note that a little m stands for meter, a lowercase g stands for gram, but we use a capital L for liter, not a lowercase l. That's because a lowercase l looks like a one. This is not something that you can argue with me about. This is not something that you can change. You must use a capital L for the abbreviation for liter. Now the prefixes. So kilo has the prefix as a letter, it's K. So KM is kilometer. We usually say kilometer. KG is kilogram. And KL is kiloliter. H, the prefix is hecto, hectometer, HM, hectogram, HG, hectoliter, HL. We use a capital D for deca, and that's because we need a lowercase d later for deci. So again, capital D M is decameter, capital D G is decagram, and capital D capital L is decaliter. Lowercase d is deci. So that's decimeter, decigram, deciliter. Lowercase c puts the prefix centi. So that's centimeter, centigram, centiliter. And m is the prefix for milli, which is millimeter, milligram, milliliter. So you may be asking, how does this work? Because you're saying this is really, really easy. First, there are examples here. What do each of these stand for? You just heard me say all of them. Kg is kilogram. Hl is hectoliter. Mm is millimeter. Cl is centiliter. Dm is decimeter. Capital Dg is decagram. So you might be saying, how does this all work? 
So the first example is asking us to convert 3.2 kilometers, nope, go away keyboard, to meters. Okay, go away keyboard. So I'm going from kilometers to meters. Let me double back up to my chart here for a second. I'm here and I'm going here. Basic unit is either meter or gram or liter, depending on what kind of thing we're measuring. So I'm going from kilo to my unit. So that is one, two, three steps to the right. So that means if I pop down here and take my 3.2 and I grab that decimal point, move it one, two, three places to the right and fill in my holes, I get 3,200, that is a comma, 3,200 meters. And that's it, we're done. All this is is sliding around a decimal point. So the next problem asks us to convert 450 centiliters into the number of liters. Why liters? So what is why? So let's pop back up here and let me get rid of our marks from last time. Bye bye marks from last time. And we are going from centiliters to liters, basic liters, which means we're going up one, two steps. That's left two steps. Cool. Where's the decimal point on 450? I hope you all said on the end. It was in there. So we said two left, so one, two left. That means it's 4.5 liters. Okay, all we're doing is moving a decimal point, left, right, whatever. So my last example here, we have 62 grams becoming kilograms. So again, let me Oops, let me get rid of our marks. And this time we are going from grams, which is a basic unit, to kilograms. So we're going to the left, we're going up. So one, two, three hops, three steps to the right. So down here, where is the decimal point 62? at the end of it, drag it one, two, three places back, and fill in the zero. That is 0 0.062 kilograms.